Workflow is a set of activities that comprises the process of performing a task from the start to the end. Having a platform to handle or automate these processes can significantly increase the efficiency of your business. EngageBay Workflow is a series of actions or conditions or a combination of both that can be triggered by execution or automation. Difference between Workflow and Automation EngageBay Workflow and Automation uses the same set of actions and conditions. However, the difference between the two is that Workflow does not have a trigger event. It has to be started manually by execution. Let's say, if we had to run a process on contacts that do not satisfy any trigger conditions, then we can create a workflow and add the contacts to the workflow. Please check the screenshot. It shows the difference between automation and workflow. Creating a workflow. In the marketing dashboard, click on the main menu campaigns and select workflows. Click on create workflow on top right. Enter the name of the workflow in the pop-up that appears and click on continue. Click the big plus button on the top right and select an action or condition accordingly. You can add the actions and conditions as per your requirement. Once done, please click on the Save button on the top right and make sure the status is published. Adding contacts to the workflow. We need to add the contacts to the workflow manually or through an automation. To add it manually, please go to Contacts, select the contacts that you want to add. Click on Bulk Action, select Execute Workflow. Select the workflow and the workflow will be executed on those selected contacts. Let's create a workflow to check for the tag EB and add the contact to a static list. In the marketing dashboard, click on the main menu campaigns and select workflows. Click on create workflow on top right. Enter the name of the workflow in the pop-up that appears and click on continue. Click the big plus button on the to right. Add a condition node has tag. Choose the tag EB2. Click on add condition button. Now, click the big plus button again and add the action node add to list. Select the list bob list from the drop down. Click on add action button. Connect the nodes. Click on the Save button on the top right and please make sure the workflow is in the published mode. Now, let's add contacts to the workflow. Please click on Contacts. Select the contacts that you want to add to the workflow. Click on Bulk Action. Select Execute Workflow. Select the workflow that you have created. The contacts will be added to the workflow. Actions on Workflow In the Marketing Dashboard, click on the Main Menu Campaigns and select Workflows. Click the three dots to the right of the workflow that you want and you will find six different options. 1. Edit – It is used to edit the workflow. 2. Share – It is used to share the workflow with a different user who has an EngageBay account. When you click on it, it will ask you to enter user email address where you need to enter the EngageBay's registered email address of the account. 3. Duplicate. It is used to duplicate the workflow. 4. Download reports. It is used to download reports of the workflow. 5. Activities. It is used to check the activities on the workflow. 6. Delete. It is used to delete the workflow. Workflow reports. To view the reports of the workflow, in the Marketing Dashboard, click on the Main Menu Campaigns and select Workflows. Click the graph icon on the workflow. In the left pane, you will find three options. 1. Contacts. 2. Email Reports. 3. SMS Reports. 1. Contacts It will show all the contacts that were added to the workflow. In the right pane, you will find a drop-down with different options like active, completed, recipients, delivered, etc. 
you can select the option you want and it will show the contacts accordingly. 2. Email Reports It will show you all the emails that you have sent through the workflow along with their reports. To check the contacts to which the email was sent, click the three dots to the right of email and select Contacts. It will show all the contacts. You can select the date from the date picker on the top right. You will also find a drop down on the right side with the options like Recipients, Delivered, Opens, Clicks. Select the option and it will show the data accordingly. You will also find an option to select the contacts and add them a tag or add them to a static list from the bulk action. 3. SMS Reports It will show the SMS reports if you are sending SMS through workflow.